Hey guys, it's Wits, and today we are going to talk about the Xbox Series 2 controller and the wireless adapter. So, if you happen to play PC games with your Elite Series 2 controller, so you might encounter some issues where the controller is disconnecting constantly. Today I'm going to share with you a few solutions that you might have to try to see if you can fix it. And those I found from the Xbox forum and I'm going to share them with you. So the first thing, if you are using an Nvidia graphic card or using the Nvidia experience, so that might be part of the issue. So let's go check it out. So the first thing you want to do, just press Alt and the Z key on your computer, on your keyboard. And then you're going to have this screen right here and you're going to open the GE force experience. So now once you get to that part, just click on the setting button, the cog button, just click on that. And then now you are looking for the broadcast live. So you click on this. Once you are in the broadcast live, just look on the right side. You see that button right here that you can toggle it on and off. Normally it is on. So if you toggle it off, just make sure it is in the off position. Then try that and see if that works. Now, if that doesn't work, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go to the device manager. So if you type device manager on your computer, then you should be able to open the device manager. Now, once you are inside the device manager window, just look for the network adapters. Now, once you are in the network adapter, just look towards the bottom and you will see Xbox wireless adapter for windows. Just right click Xbox wireless adapter and then you will open the properties. Now, once you are in the properties, just, just go to the power management. Just make sure those are, this is not checked. If this is checked, that could be one of the problems. So try that and see if that works. That's solution number two. Now, the third solution, if the number one and number two don't work, is still inside the device manager. Just click on this again and go back to the properties. And then now you are looking for the driver. And then just make sure you update the driver. Now, most likely, if your windows are up to date, then you might not need a driver. But try it anyways, because you never know. Finally, if nothing works, then it's probably you might need a new adapter. So you probably need to buy a new one for $20 or something. So hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully one of those solutions kind of fix your problem. So in any case, those solutions that I talked about happen to work for me. So hopefully it works for you as well. So if not, I am sorry. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys later.